Hello people hope you're all safe and sound this is Adeep and welcome back to another vlog this year is the BS6 Renault Quid climber which is the top most model in the Quid lineup before going into the video do not forget to subscribe to Motor Hub and also hit the bell icon to not miss any of my future updates the Renault Quid climber is available in 6 colors and this one here is the electric blue now there are two variants of climber on offer one is the manual and the other is automatic this one here is the manual which costs rupees 4.99 lakhs and the automatic costs rupees 40000 more than the manual all the mentioned prices are ex showroom only coming to dimensions it is 3.7 meters in length 1.5 meters in width 1.4 meters in height and the wheel base happens to be 2.4 meters in terms of safety it gets two airbags abs with ebd seat belt warning centrally mounted fuel tank engine immobilizer reverse parking camera reverse parking sensors crash sensor high speed alert and rear seat belts an awkward climber gets a macpherson strut with lower transverse link for the front suspension and a twist beam with coil suspension at the rear it gets disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear and the turning radius happens to be 4.9 meters this 1 liter petrol engine delivers a fuel efficiency of 21.74 km per liter which is certified by ARAI. In real world it delivers somewhere between 18 to 19 km per liter. And the ground clearance happens to be 184 mm. This is the key of the vehicle, it gets remote lock and unlock. The front grille is finished in black and has chrome inserts. Big Renault logo in the middle. This is the LED DRL and halogen turn indicator and you get the headlight unit down here which are halogen and it gets these orange inserts representing the climber variant. The car looks very sporty from the front. Under the hood it is powered by a 1 litre 3 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine which produces a peak power of 67 bhp and a torque of 91 Nm and it is paired to a 5 speed manual gearbox or a 5 speed AMT gearbox and you also get insulation right there to reduce engine noise moving to the side it gets these big wheel arches which get a black cladding along with integrated turn indicator and it gets a 14 inch steel wheel which gets this grey color cap with Renault logo in the middle and the tire size happens to be 165 by 70 R14 and it gets tubeless tires outside rear view mirror gets this chrome cap along with turn indicator chrome door handles And moving to the rear you also get chrome on the tail lamps. There is a reflector placed down here. Silver color skid plate and these are the reverse parking sensors. And the ground clearance happens to be 184 millimeters. Renault badging right here and there is this chrome line running across the boot lid. Renault logo, quit badging and this is the reverse parking camera of the car. It gets electronic boot release and the boot carrying capacity happens to be 279 liters. The loading lip is quite high. The spare wheel is placed under here and is not an alloy as well. This is the rear parcel shelf. The fuel tank capacity happens to be 28 liters. Moving to the rear seats, the door opens wide enough for easy ingress and egress, no bottle holders, power window switch and you get lights underneath here which act as puddle lamps at night, illuminated scuff lamp and the rear seat is wide enough and the floor is almost flat. This is the center armrest, no adjustable headrest at the rear. adequate amount of knee room and leg room headroom is also not an issue but another support could have been better moving to the front the front door gets bottle holders silver color door handles with orange inserts 
manual recliner just for the driver's seat and there is also illumination down here this is the headlight leveler a clip placed right there it gets its three spoke steering wheel with no audio controls this is the touchscreen infotainment system which will come to in a bit and these are the air conditioning controls you get a 12 volt power socket along with a USB charging port and aux port some storage space right there gear lever and brake and some storage space quid written right there and this is the glove box of the vehicle which is quite small this is to lock or unlock the doors these are the power window controls and this is the hazard light switch Coming to the audio system, it is an 8 inch touch screen unit with USB, Bluetooth, AUX, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity and it only gets two speakers as standard and it also gets these settings to customize as per your liking. And it also gets voice recognition for some commands. This is the reverse parking camera of the car gets guidelines but are not adaptive. And you can also customize the brightness, saturation and contrast of the camera. Coming to the instrument cluster, it is a fully digital unit with tachometer to the left, MID in the middle, engine temperature meter and fuel level to the right with telltale lights. The MID shows speed, time, range, odometer, average fuel consumption, instantaneous fuel consumption, distance to empty and twin trip meters. Manual inside rear view mirror. This is the cabin light. Passenger side visor gets no mirror or light. Same is the case with the driver side visor.